Morning all. Um, welcome to uh, Suchworks Towers, um, also known as uh, Google Campus and Tech Hub. Um, so I'm going to talk you through the uh, eGPU setup uh, that I've got. Um, so really what I did this for was so that I could use uh, my laptop and my MacBook for um, VR development. Um, it does actually work without um, without the eGPU, but it runs at a really, really low frame rate. So uh, what I've done is I've set up Bootcamp, um, got that running on one side and the MacBook running on the other side, um, and then got the eGPU set up to basically just boost the frame rate and, and make it um, a VR-ready laptop. Uh, even though it still doesn't say it is within um, the Oculus home, it, it will actually work uh, fine with all the VR applications. Um, so let's just show you what we're working with here so um, basically there's there's the two main parts that comprise of the eGPU setup so um, the first is the actual graphics card unit itself um, and then you've also got the power supply unit uh, that you require to so basically the graphics card on its own just won't have enough um, power to run so you need the external um, power supply as well just to give it that extra little boost um, also what we have here is a holder, um, a PCI holder for the graphics card as well. So the best thing to do with that, the version that I went for is this little number here. This is called the Akitio Thunder 2 um, and basically what it does is it just holds your um, graphics card in place. With a, with a kind of normal PCI slot and then uses a Thunderbolt 2 cable which goes into the port just there to uh, connect it to your, to your MacBook. Um, the, the, this Thunder 2 is only, only supports um, up to the Thunder, Thunderbolt 2 um, cabling. Uh, for the new MacBooks they've got the Thunderbolt 3 which is twice as fast as the Thunderbolt 2 so you'll be able to get an even better frame rate out of your VR applications which would be really cool. Um, so what I went for here with graphics cards was, uh, luckily these, these new um, GTX 1060s that have just come out um, are really, really uh, quite nice and powerful but also quite small. Um, there's been a lot of people that have been fitting their graphics cards into the Thunder 2 and they've been way too long, they've been kind of out that far. Um, and then to get a smaller one you're just not getting the power that you would need for um, VR but with with this one it's great it's, it's just the right size um, so yeah you don't need to break it or anything like that which some people have had to do with their cases you can just slip it in and it works wonderfully so the other the other thing um, that we have here as well let's just get the box for it is the EVGA 500 um, watt power supply so to be honest, I still would like to see if there's a way of getting a smaller power supply um, for this, but this, this seemed to be the one that most people were recommending, or kind of a, a normal PC uh, kind of power supply was the one that people were recommending, so, so I went for that. Um, it does come with loads and loads of different cables and ports, but really what you want is the 6-pin one, so basically the power supply goes in there, um, and that's the that's the six pin connector that you get. What I've done is I've, I've gaffer taped up all the other connectors uh, over here, so that so that they're basically just out of the way. Also, uh, one of the one of the most important things uh, that you'll have there as well is it's a actually a safety pin. So you require a safety pin. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure about this, so um, don't quote me if I'm wrong. But um, Without the safety pin going between a couple of the connectors, so there's there's a connector looks slightly bigger than this um, that goes into the actual kind of PC body, and basically what the usually that because that power supply is used in a PC, um, it'll only come on when the button is pressed on the PC, and what the little safety pin does there's I'll, I'll put some links on the YouTube video um, to to where I found the the details of this. Um, is it, it basically kind of jumps that button, it, it, it makes a request, um, is continuously kind of polling the, um, the, the case unit to say, have you been switched on? 
and that pin kind of goes around uh, that port and just says yes I have so uh, it kind of shorts out um, that but and, and basically makes it makes it power on so um, there you go that's that's basically what you need so if I let's just show you the uh, card there so you see that just slots straight in there um, also what you have is the case for that so this is the case that the Thunder 2 goes into now what I've had to do is a little bit of kind of DIY on it or uh, with the help of my dad actually uh, see he had an angle grinder <laughs> it's uh, it's very thick aluminium on this case um, and basically uh, what you'll need is you won't be able to get that power unit in there um, without cutting a hole there uh, also what I've done is just drilled some vents along the side as well just for the fan so I'll try and do this with one hand um, but if we in there like that so we can see that the our little pin there can connect straight in so that's there we've got the safety pin um, going over there as well so right uh, I, I was finding it's best to kind of test these individually so even with this out um, you can check that the power supply is on correctly and the safety pin is correctly set up um, just by whizzing that there so we can see the fans running um, so we know kind of stage one is 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 working um, so let's just turn that off for a sec if we now put put that baby in and power that on I don't think we get blue light now until we actually put the Thunderbolt cable in so <laughs> too many cables going on here and so right, actually, that's it. Yeah, so we have the DC power um, for that there. Anything coming on? No, I think we're still, still don't have anything. Ah, we can see, if you have a look in there. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's actually a little light that's um, just popped on. Um, Okay, so let's, let's boot her up and see what happens. Okay, so literally, uh, we just need the power supply. Just by going in there. Ah, there we go. So now you can see that's all, that's all blue. Um, so that will only come up when you actually put that thunderbolt cable in. See what happens. Yeah, so I'll just turn the screws just to lock this in place. While she's loading up. My first test with this is always um, just with a monitor which shows me whether it's working or not. So uh, with the monitor in, um, that goes to digital. So uh, sometimes, sometimes you have a problem where uh, it won't actually boot up first time. I've, eh, who knows what it is? <laughs> I think it's to do with different updates that you could be using. Um, so the anniversary updates giving me loads of problems with Windows 10. Um, that seems to be quite stable now. Uh, the latest NVIDIA driver doesn't work, so you've got to use kind of an older driver, um, which was the one that luckily was, was when I first got this set up. Um, but yeah, there's a release coming out next, next month that's gonna, or the end of this month, that's gonna sort of fix out. So here we go, we're all booted up. So what we'll do now is if we go into system, and device manager that's my mouse that's having problems that's fine that's my mouse that's probably because I haven't switched it on yet 
And if we go into display adapters, you'll see that we have our inbuilt NVIDIA GeForce uh, 750 and also uh, we have our brand spanking new GeForce GTX 1060, um, six gigabytes, so that's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of connected up fine, so we know that's, that's all completely okay. Now, um, if you're doing this on a Mac, there's lots of other problems that you'll have to go through, loads of different settings you need to do and terminal things you need to run, but to be honest, for my experience with a uh, with Windows 10, it's it's pretty painless actually. Um, apart from the old kind of booting issues and stuff, uh, for me it's it's works it's works completely fine. Um, I think it took two reboots. First time it didn't it didn't recognise it in the display adapter, and uh, basically because I'm using this, so I can go home um, and I can develop at home, and then I can bring this in and I can just connect it straight up here and um, use it for demoing and, and taking to different companies. Um, so basically we're just working on the, or just the finishing touches of Alpine Ski VR at the moment, which is our new awesome virtual reality game. Um, and yeah, without, without this setup, this is running at about 16 frames a second. Um, and with it, it's at a steady 75. I'm not entirely sure why it's capping at 75, um, uh, that's basically I'm running it through it running through unity or, or fraps or whatever it, it, it's just going 75 there so I think that's something to do with um, uh, the v-syncing or the refresh rates or, or whatever but um, yeah it basically it's, it's giving me at least kind of a seven eight times um, performance boost so uh, let's just have a look at the VR headset so we have our HDMI and our USB for that so if I plug HDMI in there, USB in there, if I now go to run Let's have a look. Okay, now that I've booted up um, Ski VR, we've got Oculus Home that started booting up. We can see our lovely uh, DK2 is now booting up. Let's see if I can give you a view in there. Uh, yeah, so basically I get this um, message all the time that just says your computer doesn't meet Rift's recommended specifications and your Oculus Rift is unsupported. You may explore, uh, experience uh, poor VR performance, but you don't, <laughs> basically. So if I run that now, uh, let's just have a look down there. Uh, so that's booting up at the moment. Sorry. Okay, so that boots up fine. Uh, let's just get fraps up so we can see the frame rate. Cool, so we can see that's running at 75 frames a second there. Um, absolutely no lag in VR at all. Um, that's obviously just the main menu system. So let's just have a look down there. Let's see Here we 
go, a bit of slalom racing for you. Um, so as you can see, we're still running at a consistent 75, 75 frames a second. It seems to be capped at that. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether that's the VR headset or V-Sync or, or what's going on there. <laughs> not very good at slaloming while I'm uh, doing this, unfortunately, but you get the idea. Um, and that's about it, really. So there you go. You've got an uh, eGPU um, running, working with the Oculus Rift. Um, works very well as I say I've, I've had no great issues with it um, it's fantastic for demoing for people so basically I can I'll, I'll take my laptop with me for development and then I can just bring these two uh, with me for um, demos and stuff so it's so much better for um, just going to client sites and things because you know you can't take a desktop with you and um, really the only other option is kind of a gaming laptop um, which kind of is going to be the next investment, but in the meantime, uh, this works really well. Um, just thinking if there's anything else I can tell you. Uh, so there's some people have got a, a different power setup where they don't need to use the DC power supply here. They've got a connector, um, one of these that's that's kind of from an adapter that goes into the barrel port down there. Now I, I bought one of those actually, or tried to, and it didn't actually fit. So yeah, basically what I'd say is be careful uh, with the ones that you get. So I got this set up uh, online and it, it looks like it's pretty much a barrel port, but basically that connector there uh, doesn't fit <laughs> in there, so it's not standard connector. So if you do go for that setup, apparently some people have been having kind of inconsistent power issues, and it's been it's been dropping out and freezing the computer. And to be honest, I I have had that um, probably once every three weeks or something. Um, so it hasn't been hasn't been too bad. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's that's how you use your MacBook with virtual reality. Thank you very much. Goodbye.